Hello, what is happening today? You are welcome to my tutorial once again. You are welcome to my channel. You know, any day you see me like this on the camera, you know that something good is on your table. Today, we want to discuss one important thing that can make your business to grow, and that is traffic. What we mean by traffic? Traffic is the number of people that are visiting your business online. In whatever business you are doing online, you need visitors. You need people that come in contact with your business every day. Now the question is, how do you get those constant visitors every day? How do you get a steady stream of customers? You need people that will buy from you which are your customers how do you get them you need to get them steadily if you don't get them steadily that means one time your business will run down so in order not for your business to run down you need a steady stream of customer so how do you get them you know in an online term the term we use for customer in an online is called traffic we have two types of traffic we have uh organic traffic and we have paid traffic organic traffic is a traffic that you get free of charge and paid traffic is the traffic you get by paying for an advertisement or promotion so these are the two types major type of uh traffic that we, we have then you can also subdivide this traffic into different categories which we'll be looking at later now first of all let's look at organic traffic organic traffic is the one you get for free but it is not fast because there are there are com it's very competitive many people are in so for you to come out it is very very difficult so it is not very fast if you want it fast then the way to go is by paid traffic which is a running advertisement or running a solo ad now let's look at organic traffic how do you get organic traffic the way you can get organic traffic is you can get it through social media you have uh, followers on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know, when you are posting, you post along with your your link, the link to your your pages, to your website, so that well, once in a while people see those links and will try to find out what the subject is all about. So they click on the link and go to your website. So that is how you get a free traffic then another one is google search report you know sometimes when people have problem the next place they go to is to go and search on google so when they type a, a query they start they type a search term on google google can google will quickly run through all the website that contain those terms and bring out the best and that is why it is difficult for you for one to come out through organic uh, search because there are other websites that are better than yours and there are many factors that google take in place before ranking a particular uh, website so your own may not come to that first page you know if you click on if you are searching for a particular term on google you will see that there are 10 first 10 pages you know and most people the majority of people look at the first 10 they don't go to the second page they hardly uh, even me i hardly go to the second page so once i search for a term and i i i browse through the the first 10 i think those first 10 are always enough and that is why it is very hard for you to see organic traffic easily so you can see organic traffic through google search that is if you have done your seo properly if your 
website can rank very well on the website then you can get organic uh, traffic through google then another one is um, maybe somebody has come to your website before and have benefited so much from your website he can decide to bookmark your your website or he can decide to keep your website in remembrance because the website has added value to him so he valued it so much that he could remember the website so that one time when he need to get something so oh i saw something on so website one day let me visit it you click quickly type your website uh, url in the in the browser and visit your website that is a free traffic you didn't pay anything he he visited it on his own that is one way you can get a free traffic in that way you must provide value in your website so if your website add value to people if it is very very important if people have have visited your website and have read your blog they have read what you have to offer and they see that ah wow this website is good this person i like what you have written and one time they can decide to visit it on their own that is free traffic okay then another one is um maybe somebody uh, recommend your website to another person and so this this so, 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 uh, website offers so uh, thing you can visit it that is another way of getting free traffic now you can further categorize traffic into two again in another in another dimension that is the traffic that you own and the traffic that you do not own now when you are talking about social media you can get your traffic from social media but you do not have control over it now if facebook decide that what you are posting on the facebook they do not like it they can ban you you know they have restricted me several times and sometime in the week that they will give me a restriction that you will not be able to post to any group that you do not manage for so 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 long you know no i don't have any objection <laughs> it is their website so it is their own they have control over it and so many people have suffered uh, like that you know the uh, instagram can decide to to shut down your accounts and you don't have any question you don't have, you can't question them so and that means uh, to have a control over your traffic it is much more better than uh, a traffic that you do not own now when you are talking about email list email list is not free per se it's not free it's not you, you, you do not consider it a free traffic because you have to pay the you have to pay the email service provider we have email service providers like uh, get response we have mailship we have motic uh, sendy and so on and if you want to get a link to uh, one of them i will provide a link in the description so that means email list is not free per se you are paying you are paying something for it but it is more sustainable because you have control over it it is your property you have control over it that is the main advantage of email list and it is the bedrock of success in an online business if you have not started building email list it means you have not started online business yet and i am going to teach you how you can build your email list i have in my subsequent uh, videos i will be providing you all those things and if you want to get them right now I, I want to suggest that you get my book it is there all right that means 
to get an email list to build an email list benefits your business more than any other type of traffic so if you are an online business person then you should be thinking of how you can start building your list because that is the one that is more sustainable if you have uh, an email list that is interactive that is people are reading your email consistently that is an asset that someone can have it is a good asset if you have people that are interacting with your email that are reading it consistently that are waiting for when you are going to send the next email that is an asset on its own but if people are not reading your mail then that is not an asset then you know if you even get to the extent that people are unsubscribing from you from your mail then that is not an asset and assets add value if your your mail is adding value to people you know they will be waiting for the next day you are going to release the next mail very very important most online business grow by mail list so if you have not started building your email list i think you should start building it imagine if you have an email list that is up to 1000 or 10000 12000 15000 i think that is a great asset you know if you send a promotion to that uh, mail list you know how much you are going to make from that list but to get that list it is not a day job it is something that you have to work hard for to get such an email and to also make it interactive so how do you make it interactive if you want to make it interactive you have to provide value you have to provide some free some freebie you have to provide some free uh, free things for your mail your mail list otherwise you cannot keep them if everything you what you are requesting from them is money 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 every day some some will unsubscribe and go but you have to provide some free uh, free uh, provision for them in that way they will benefit a lot from them and anytime they want to buy some things from you they can decide to buy from you all right that is how you can make it interactive by providing value to them now let's look at paid traffic paid traffic are the traffic you get by promoting your website you can promote your website on facebook google pinterest and other social media when you pay facebook for instance they help you to promote your business and reach more people that is paid traffic then another paid traffic that we have is solo ad what is solo ad solo ad is you pay an individual to promote your your website or your products on his own email list take for instance i have an email list of 12000 people you now pay me some money to run your to send your product to my mail list so in that way that is solo ad there is a website that provides solo ad I want to show you and the link is in the description the name of the website is Udemy I'm going to show you now so let's go there all right you can see this is Udemy the link is in the description click on it and you will be there now if you see these are sellers these are sellers if you look at this first person now okay you can see 300 visitors for 210 dollars if you, you can adjust it 10 1000 visitors for 693 dollars now if you pay this person now he will drive traffic 
to your product and you give him uh, a sum amount of money you can search for other sellers if you want to find sellers you see sellers here you want to find solo deals you click on solo deals and you can see there are so many of them here this one is the maximum you can drive is 850 at the rate of 403 dollars so in just a question of adding them to cart and you get it so if you want to buy solo ad from this website click on that link in the description and that is how you you get it all right let's go back okay thank you for watching i'm going to give you another vital factor that can make you grow your business online in my next video so always stay in tune make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you always receive my video ring the notification bell so that whenever i upload the new video you'll be notified also make your comments in the comment section whatever question you need to ask i will answer it well if you can ask it in the comment section then share it with your friends and family and also if you want to grow faster in how to make money with affiliate marketing i have a book on a step by step to a step by step guideline on affiliate marketing and the title of the book is from zero to seven figures so you if you need it you can i can provide a link for you you can ask me for it and i will provide for you or you visit my website which is in the description all right thank you for watching the video see you next time bye